Gerard. Stay the fuck down, bro. Just stay the fuck down. Like, yo, this dude is starting to be hacks. It's starting to remind me of Majin Buu when he would keep on coming back no matter what the fuck they did to him because he just got triple teamed. He had Toshiro with his up-to-date, almost perfected Bankai, Zaraki Kenpachi's Bankai, and on top of that, you had the Zenban Sakura fucking Reign of Blades on his ass, and he's coming back together again. What the fuck is it gonna take to take this dude out? Like, the miracle doesn't stop. Honestly, Gerard is like like, is good in a sense because it takes him way past, like, already the stigma of him being Yami 2.0 is out the window. He's no longer Yami 2.0 because he's actually putting up a really, really, really good fight. But, damn! I mean, you got triple teamed by three of the fucking best out there, and you're still getting up. You're a good fucking challenge, but, damn! I'm, I'm like, okay, if Toshiro's Bankai didn't work, Zoraki's Bankai and Zoraki's little trip up didn't work, the Senban Sakura shower didn't work, what is gonna work? And on top of that, Toshiro's tired as fuck, Zoraki's with one arm busted up as fuck on the floor, so... It's pretty much up to Biakia unless somebody else shows up to help Biakia and they have a convenient ability to help out against Gerard. Not much else I could see happening to take Gerard out. Now there was something about Box Dream that he was having of him and Ichigo and Ichigo showing up and just slashing him. For starters, the thing that he keeps on calling Ichigo my child of darkness, that's what he wants. He wants like Ichigo to be just vicious because do you think Ichigo would actually just walk up to a sleeping man and slash him? I think Ichigo would more so like wake him up and say, hey fuck face, I'm gonna kill you. So that's kind of interesting that that's what Box interpretation of what he wants Ichigo to be but also in the dream there's a couple things you got to notice for starters Bak was without his eyes but you could assume that he was dreaming that because he knew when he goes to sleep in the nighttime his powers are gone so the eyes will be away but he also dreamed of Ichigo in his normal form with just his normal Shikai and stuff like that before he had all these crazy new designs and power-ups and shit like that could it be that his knowledge of Ichigo only stems up to a certain point after maybe the Zangetsu inside of Ichigo decided to cut off information of Bak it was like okay you know I'm close to this kid You ain't getting no more info And that's why he sees Ichigo in that way And it's kind of creepy that he says What a wonderful dream So your dream of a dude killing you in your sleep Is wonderful But then again that's why he keeps saying My child of darkness So he probably wants him to be Maybe a successor to him And I gotta note one thing I ain't gonna lie Hoshwald what the fuck You had the powers of a god You have the soul king Fucking Juha Bak Your watch powers all night and you couldn't take out Uryu. Really. You have these hacks ass abilities. And you couldn't take out one fucking Quincy. I mean don't get me wrong. Uryu looked fucked up as shit. But how could you not do it? And then say oh my powers were suited for combat more than you know your majesty. So what the fuck's the point of Box powers? I know he has foresight and shit like that. But I, I don't get it. How you have that amazing power. I mean maybe he only has a percentage of it. And you can't access it fully. But still you had all night with these incredible powers. And you didn't get the job done. I am disappointed in you hash. Brown. Then at the end of the chapter, Orihime hopefully going to be useful this time around. Her and Ichigo going up against Bach and shit like that. And I mean, she's good for healing. It's almost as if you're playing some sort of fucking MMO. It's like, hey, you got the heal in the back and you got the tank in the front and shit like that. So it's a nice combo. And it was cool to see those panels of like flashbacks of like Ichigo, a couple different fights he had and how Orihime wanted to help him. So she's playing the typical, you know, I want to help this man, you know, female role, which I mean, Orihime could have been so much more than this, but it is what it is. This is what she's resulted to. Like, I just I, I want to help him and we got a setup for Ichigo versus Bach honestly I'm surprised I did not see that this fight was going to be set up this soon like honestly the way things have been going like all these 1v1s with everyone else I didn't see Ichigo finally showing up to Bach but there's still a ton to go so don't get it twisted this is the finale of everything like you know we got four more chapters of some crazy shit like that because there's still Aizen in the chair chair Sama still has to have more appearances there's still the Soul King we got to find out more about him why was he frozen in different pieces there's a lot of different things. I mean, Gerard is coming back, so don't get it twisted. I don't think this is the final fight, and who's to say a Bach is even the final villain? Maybe the Soul King will come back to life, take over Bach's body, and the Soul King will be the final villain. You never fucking know. But yeah, overall, good chapter for the most part. Disappointed in Hoshwald's inability to take out Uryu all fucking night with those godlike powers. But aside from that, the setup for Ichigo versus your watch final fight baby let me know what you think about this though first of all what do you think is Orihime going to finally finally be useful in this fight against Bach also what do you think about Gerard do you think that at this point he's going that Majin Buu OP route that he keeps on regenerating and what do you think about Hash Brown's inability to take out Uryu all night with the powers of Bach and your overall thoughts but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like I'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on Twitter Instagram and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends I'm for world and as always, people, have an awesome day.